capture pre-cut rotor dimensions. The cutting head is effectively a live micrometer. Once the lathe is compensated, crank the cutting head in until the bits are about half an inch from the outside edge of the rotor. Work with the outboard cutting arm first. Advance the arm until the cutting bit just scores the high point of the rotor. Notice that as the arm is advanced, the tablet screen automatically refreshes, asking for three touch points to be entered. If you don't want to capture pre-cut geometry, you can continue to the cut process. Otherwise, capture the high point of the outside face of the rotor by pressing the leftmost button, outboard high point. Once this is done, slowly advance the outboard arm until the bit just makes a complete scratch around the entire rotor. Capture this by pressing the center button, outboard low point. The difference between your first touch and the second touch is the runout in the rotor. Next, bring the inboard cutting arm in until it just touches the back face of the rotor. Capture this by pressing the rightmost button on the screen. The distance between the two cutting bits is captured, which represents the initial thickness of the rotor. If you're not comfortable with any of your captured data points, you can repeat the process. Note that the displayed rotor thickness is always compared to the vehicle's spec. The measuring screen will stay green as long as the measured thickness is over 20 thousandths of an inch above spec, and then go to yellow between 20 thousandths of an inch and the minimum allowable thickness, and then red when below the minimum allowed thickness.